SIA at the Armada booth, and I'm joined by Tyson. He's to my left, you are right. And uh, he's holding one of the new skis from Armada that's got some pretty dope technology behind it, some new ideas. So, Tyson, what, what the hell is this thing? Uh, this is the Alpha 2. Uh, this is an extension of last year's Alpha 1 that came out mid season release. It's taking J to technology we use in the JJ model, which is hugely popular last season, Elf Shoe technology, which is a five dimensional shape reversed uh, camber uh, in the tip of tail and uh, regular camber under boot. So uh, what are the benefits of riding something like that? Well for this particular model for park um, you're getting a, a quicker turn radius and uh, but yet you're still getting this uh, stability of something that's a maybe a little bit longer but it skis a little bit shorter. Oh pretty right and then uh, you know the tip is kind of brought back to stop you from hooking in? Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, the early rise tip and tail allows you to carve into a jump or carve out of a jump and uh, not have to worry so much about getting hung up on the uh, tip and tail area. Now, sweet. Now, these are uh, a limited series, so you guys aren't making a, a, a buttload of these, or what's the deal? Yeah, the limited series uh, includes the J, or, um, excuse me, the Alpha 1, Alpha 2, Pipe Cleaner, and ARG, so they're all on re limited release. Some we produce more than others. This particular ski will be limited uh, more so than the other remodels in the series. We're taking a full launch into the uh, outerwear market this year, and this is one of our key pieces. It's a three-layer event piece called the uh, Galacticon print, uh, the Galactic Jacket. It's, um, it's a very technical outerwear piece, three-layer event fabric, um, Riri Aqua Zip zippers, <clears throat> just super tech, good backcountry piece. And it looks sick. Rosignol's second year for the Seven Artistic Sins. We got some new sick artwork. Any changes to the skis, or are you guys just keeping it real? Well, we're keeping it real, continuing with the S7, man. The S7's probably one of the most sought after powder skis right now. With that reverse camber and the camber underneath the foot, you got great, great ski ability in the powder and float. And then when you get down on that cat track, you're still ripping on the ski. It's turning to be an all mountain, all day ski for everybody out there now. Yeah, you've seen some of the movies from last year, guys, on this. Well, they're totally looking at the train different than they ever have they're being able to smear and slide stuff and kind of really really changing the way they're skiing out there with this kind of ski so it's been really cool to see that progression happen in that powder ski and big mountain riding now what's up with the art this year it's real sick once again well this is uh this is based on the greed graphic and really what you're seeing is this is based on greed cutting down the rainforest the guy down there with a the chainsaw with the little wise owl in the back and then when you get over to the back side here that owl's got revenge man he's got the uh, chainsaws on his arm and he's cutting the other dude's arm off so trying to take it all back you know keeping keeping it white out there so it's a kid ski yeah no it's not a kid ski man this thing's a ripping powder ski well, this appears to be the s3 from last year but I'm, I'm detecting a hint of change oh man this is a totally new s3 brother this thing right here is basically all that technology we got in that Mac Daddy powder ski, the S7. It's got that reverse camber in the tip and tail and the camber underneath the foot. Yeah, it's a true twin in the camber section from here to here. So slope style, you're going to be able to butter and spin on this thing like nobody's business. And then when you get that powder day, you're going to be ripping it up in the powder on a sled like this. So basically it's a multi-purpose do-anything tool. It's a totally multi-purpose tool uh, for anybody and the price point is perfect, man. A company that keeps my head very safe and my eyes protected, talking about Giro. Joined by Bob. This is our new helmet, the Revolver. Uh, it's a little brother to the shiv that runs the mag clip goggle retainer. This one uh, doesn't have the magnet in it, but there is a bottle opener in the goggle retainer on this one. So. Is that for safety? Uh, yeah, maybe. And convenience? Sure. A little bit of a brim kick to it. Um, a nice feature to it is our stack vent. It's built to basically line up with the goggle vents on the top of your goggle right in the center. Steams, steams out the uh, the goggle, keeps it fog-free, pretty cool. That's pretty important when you're drinking. You want to have a, a fog-free goggle. That's right. Uh, another thing is uh, you can pull out this goggle channel. Leaves room for uh, buckles on your goggle if you run it under your helmet, which a lot of people do. So we're in our third year of goggles, and we're really hitting stride with it. First two years out of the gate, we had some good advancements. We had some new technology on an interchangeable lens system, but as far as styling goes and function, third year we're really hitting it right now. Um, it's a, the goggles called the Basis, has a spherical lens on it, massive uh, field of vision, great for um, really good peripheral, so if you're dropping in switch, anything like that, the riders have been talking about it, it works really well for them. 
bunch of cool lens tints, flashes, pretty good goggle. We've had a really good response. <laughs> Just want to shoot a shout out to everybody that came out today. Small Candy got the new Snoop Dogg headphones dropping in the spring of 09, so make sure you get your pair. They look like this here, they sound real good around the ears. So, anybody got some chronic? That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Enjoy yourself, Small Candy and Big Snoop Dogg. You did? With so much drama in the LBC, it's kind of hard being Snoop Dogg or Double G, but I. Somehow, some way, keep coming up with funky ass shit like every single day. May I kick a little something for the G's and make a few ends as I burn.